Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. Between episodes, I've seen a rising faction in the comments suggesting that we'd seduce our wife. Now, why would we do that? Well, every time you seduce your wife, there is a chance of a pregnancy event triggering which bypasses the usual checks, as in, um, usually it'll be like some kind of role versus the percentage chance of fertility and all that sort of stuff. Um, and that basically just bypasses it once every time you do the seduce, uh, seduction event. I don't think we need to do that yet. I think I'm quite happy to just see what happens, but if it gets a little bit later into our character's lifetime and we're a little bit less sure about where things can go, maybe we'll think about it. But I take it as part of the challenge in this game, right? Part of the challenge is, hey, things might not go our way. How do we work around them? Instead of trying to game the system, what we're going to do is we're going to go, okay, if, for instance, we're going to have... And no children with our wife, well that means that these two people are our heirs, right? And we have to act as if they are our heirs and deal with it. So, that's the plan for just now. We may change it later, depending on how we're feeling, but right now, that's fine. Now, uh, the thing that's very important this episode is that you are about to become uh, 16, which means that you will lose your regency, probably, and... Um, I'm just seeing here, so that's the 19th of March. So in about a year's time, you'll lose your regency and we can start swaying you, which means we can actually get some opinion, which I think will be very good. Uh, let me just check here. Uh, pa scales of power at three. Okay, so they would need to be at um, five for them not to be dismissed. So he'll disappear after this. He's also apparently selfless, which probably means he w isn't trying to raise the scales of power, so we just let it get to 50. Okay, I understand. Right, um, just seeing if we've got anything else we need to worry about. We need to, uh, to earn some more money this episode, potentially finish up our buildings here. Uh, fields and farms seems like a great one to get us a lot of money immediately, but also trade for it's pretty good for the development growth. Something like that would be good. Now, uh, it has also been suggested that we have a look in here and see if there's any extra land that we can grab. I believe our leash only has one vassal, uh, apart from us, like major vassal is you, right? Oh no, there's Bruges as well. Oh, a little bit down here. Yeah, there is some land down here. Potentially, these are people we could steal some land from. Ypres and uh, Bruges. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice them. Are they part of the duchy? Oh, they're part of a different duchy. They're part of Flanders. Interesting. So we could potentially go down here and just see what's going on. Yeah, potentially I could grab some of this land. Now, obviously, I don't have a claim. I could ask for one. He would accept, except I can't because I do not have 120 piety. So if I can get to 120 piety, we can just get a free claim. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll just wait for that then. All right, we have our plan. We're gonna wait. Schema discovered. People are plotting against my knights. Oh, that reminds me. There is one other thing we have to do. Uh, and also look at this. Uh, the other thing that we have to do is we have to go to our court. We have to go to adults. We have to go to marital status. We're looking for unmarried adults. There are eight unmarried adults in our court. Well, we basically just want to marry them off. Let's look for inheritable traits and just see who we can drag in based on, I don't know, age. Uh, and they have to not be our courtier because if they're our courtier, there's no purpose to this marriage because we're not dragging them into our court. What we're doing instead is simply just marrying off people within our court, which is still valuable in a way because if you marry off people within your court, then you are... Um, if you marry off people within your court, you're still given a chance for children, but essentially uh, not quite as valuable as getting brand new people like this guy into our court. So, that's the plan. Anyway, uh, you can't marry. You're my martial and knight. Um, to sort by age. Uh, you're going to marry this person. There we go. We have a lot of Greek people coming to our court. Okay. They married instantly, which makes me think that she was in our court. Maybe she is the Greek person that we uh, literally just looked at. Uh, that's fine. Anna. If we happen to marry them together, it's not a huge deal, but it is more optimal to bring them in. Oh, a genius. Never mind. I'm going to bring you into our court. That's a good, that's a great trait to have. Don't need to look at anyone else. Genius is a fantastic trait to grab. Um, why don't you grab, uh, bring this person into our court. I don't really know who they are, but they appear to have a little bit more gravitas around them compared to our normal people. Sure. Let's bring you into court. 
Uh, anything in here? We can pardon our courtier for being a fornicator. And we can imprison her. Ah, so she literally arrived at our court two seconds ago. Okay. Sometimes I feel like the entire world rests upon my shoulders. My responsibilities as Count of Holland are endless. I hardly have a moment to myself. So I can try and rebalance my humors. Could decrease our learning. Or we can take like one of these negatives. I'm going to drink. It didn't decrease our learning. That's all I needed to know. In a ton of these events as it's all the people we've married off. Now if I look at unmarried people in our court, we have you who's betrothed and then you who can't marry. Perfect. That's all we needed to do. Just a very quick check just to see whether uh, we had them all married. Uh, now we got a genius. Is there actually any other positions we can fill here? We still have any children, but is there a good court tutor? Ooh, we could put you in as court tutor. That wouldn't be too terrible. Even though we don't have any children in our court immediately, someone like that would be a great person to have in. Apparently you're excellent. What makes you excellent? Ah, oh, patient does it, plus your very high learning skill. I see. Then you're excellent because of learning skill, patient, and genius. So that's 45. And then that... Well, in theory, you're better, right? Because if that's 45... Oh, no, because that's 40, not 10. Ah, oh, never mind. So that's 50, um, 65. Yes, yes. Re reading what's there is very helpful. So yes, you are the best. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put you in as in the job here. It may be a little bit of a waste of money, but I'm going to put her in the job so that she doesn't leave our court, basically. They're less likely to leave if they uh, have a job, I believe. Might be wrong about that, but it seems to be the same if you're inviting somebody. If they have a job, then they're less likely to want to leave their court that they're in. Anyway. Uh, we're about six months off getting our liege to be 16. That's fine. Continue chilling. They're all getting good events. Ooh, a tournament? What is your tournament? You are hosting a grand tournament. Yes, but I wanted to see what type. Ah, a wrestling tournament. Now, can we... Oh, no. I was going to say, can we do a wrestling tournament? No, we're actually really bad. We could go to it, though. It is probably worth going to. Uh, who declared war on our liege, by the way? It's a liberty war. That's Gelra declared a war on our liege. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Do we have a claim on them? Yeah, we do. We can take this title off of them. Huh. That's probably worth doing, right? If they're at war of our... If Gelra is at war of our liege, which they are, they're going to lose their troops soon. This is a chance for us to get that title. I can't go to the tournament. We're busy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we're, we are busy because they're going to leave, right? They've already lost some troops on the way. I'm assuming that our liege, who is Italy, is going to send some troops there eventually, although our tr their troops may be in Corsica. Nope, they have not actually sent them. Where, where are our liege's troops, out of curiosity? Um, yeah, you only have... Wait, why do you only have 900 troops? What? Well, what's been going on here? The other side in this war has significantly more. Hmm. I'm just going to scan the map a little bit here. I have no idea where his troops are. Do you have any courtiers who look like they're in war gear? Maybe the acclaimed knight? Oh, there we go. There's their, there's their army. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I still think I want to attack Gelera. Because I think that that will work really well for us. You're allied to this guy who's your vassal. So that doesn't matter. You have 800 troops. We have more troops. Right? Because we have our ally here. Assuming that he would join. He actually quite likes us. I think this is worthwhile. I think this is worthwhile. It's a little dangerous because we'll potentially be weaker when she comes of age. So she could act against us. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. And this will get us a little bit more land. Let's do it. This seems like a nice opportunistic war. So we're going to declare. We're going to raise our armies. Uh, and I'm going to call in my uh, ally. My dynasty member. Wait, which one's cheaper? So that cost me 75 renown. That cost me 75 prestige. I prefer the prestige because renown ticks up, ticks up and goes through characters. So 
yeah, I prefer to call him in via prestige, but interesting to know that we could call him in no matter what anyway. Ah, okay. Well, uh, gonna go to speed four for the war, just for just now. Don't know where their troops are. Doesn't make a huge amount of difference. My goal is to take the war goal and then to just sit on it, right? We don't really care about um, actually fighting their army. That sounds like a lot of work. We would much rather just siege the war goal and then be happy. I may siege some more after the war goal, but you get what I'm meaning. Once we siege it, we've kind of got what we're af out, what we're wanting out of the war. They're coming back. We have um, more troops. They will get a defensive bonus, potentially, if there are any. Uh, he's spending a lot of money to go on boats, which is a little odd. Also, wait, that's going to mean he's going to have a recently uh, embarked penalty. Yeah, so he's, his army is actually weaker right now. I don't really know what the plan was there. Yeah, so we can actually do the same thing. We can just walk over there and beat him up. I don't know why he did that. And he, he had to spend money to put his, the people on boats, right? I guess not a lot of money, but still. It's just a very weird decision by the AI. Okay. We're about 50 days out. And I think we just beat him up? Hey! Our level of devotion went up and our faithful. Clergy like us more. Uh, you already quite like us. Do you actually give me anything yet? Nope. Alright, well that's fine. Yeah. So, we're going to beat this army up. Uh, after we do this. Woo! Lotharangia? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's... You're, you're attacking Galra in a, liber in a liberty war. Okay, so you're allied with Italy. This is fine. This is fine. We're, we're, not, we're not actually hostile. That's fine. Or we're not at war. We are hostile. Hey, she's pregnant. Fantastic. Um, yeah, the difference is... Um, they will not act against us unless they can, uh, unless, like, they want to take this land to, um, like, gain war score. They won't act against us, I think. Like, they'll try and act against these guys directly. So we just basically don't want to go and fight. We don't want to be near them, right? We don't want to tempt fate. Uh, weirdly, we would love it if Galwar won that battle. They're not going to, though. But it would be great if they did. Because if they somehow won that battle, then that would open up the opportunity for us to beat them up. Oh, they are heading past us, though. Where are you going to go? Just here? No, you're going further in. Yeah, we're, we're happy to just sit and wait. They shouldn't attack us. They should, yeah, they should be interested in the actual war goal, which is this land here. We're quite happy to sit here and wait for that. Are they going to go to Zealand? This would be great, actually, if they went back to Zealand. Liege went to war. Jarl Grima went to war? In a dissolution war on Italy? My god. She turned 16 and turned crazy. She also still has a region, interestingly. Uh, let's sway her now. Um, He's actually gone up to uh, level 4 as well, interestingly. Huh. I'm assuming the regency will disappear soon. But I'm not sure I like that, because now that they're at war, now we're in danger. Because, assuming that Lotharingia joined that war, which they did, that now means that Lotharingia are actively going to target us, potentially, because this is now part of a... Like, this is now something they need as part of their war, if that makes sense. Well, previously, we were just hostile because we were both after the same thing. Now we're hostile because we both have to do the same thing, and because we're the vassal of the person that they're actually at war with. That's a little dangerous. I'm hoping that they just let us sit here. I'm quite happy to just sit here and chill. Hey, we have a son called, um, Wolfard. Wolfard Waldgerzun. Sure. Why not? Seems good. So we have a son. No need to seduce our wife. We've already, uh, Got what we want. Um, this is fine. He is has like nothing. He's the most basic child we've got. He's got no traits. He's just there. But he will do. He will definitely do. Um, please don't walk towards me. If they walk towards me, I don't know what I do. I think I run and hide. But 
you know. Ah, they're, they're sieging this. They're still focusing on the first war. We've got time. I would love to take this fight, actually, if my uh, friend wants to join me. He does, perfect. It is his land, so he should want to defend it. Let's go over here. This will get his war score, which is good. We do win, because we've got more knights and a larger army. Nice, we can head over here. That got that got us a 19% war score. Not bad, not bad. And it broke that siege, which means they're not gaining any war score off of that. Could ask our head of faith for claims, but I think we're in a different situation than we were a second ago when we were looking for that. So we'll quite happily just sit here and uh, chill. We have money that can uh, support this war. That's fine. Oh, Regency ended. That's good. New alliance. So Gellera has now got an alliance with uh, Fruli. Fruli is very far away, but is quite strong. They could cause us issues. I'm hoping that they'll focus on the other war first. If they're going to focus on a war. Yeah, what I'm saying? We can beat them up here again as well. This is fine. I'm quite happy to beat them up here again if they want to throw their army into mine. We captured an enemy combatant where they were four score. No, so that's fine. We can uh, do something with them. Wigbert. Wigbert is fantastic at intrigue. I would love it if Wigbert would join us. Okay, join me, Wigbert. Let's see. He doesn't like us immediately, so I don't want to put him in as our spy master. But over time, he may be a good choice. He may be a good choice. In fact, do we have a better spy master right now who likes us? No. Okay. Thought I'd just have a look. How's our son looking after a year? It's not been a year, and he's looking exactly the same. So, Friuli joined. Interesting. However, we only need 16 more um, war score. I'm known as a deeply pious man, am I? Surely my devotion to God should be good for something in this life too and not only the next. There are a number of people who would do well to be reminded I am in the Lord's good graces. Okay, so we can spend piety for prestige. We can spend piety for gold. Or we can make the Pope like us. Piety for gold is interesting. I think I'm going to do that. I think gold is very useful. We can now potentially then upgrade this um, to, I think farms and fields is the right option right now. Yeah, let's do that. Gets us a little bit of holding taxes, which will be good. Now we continue to chill. I think we're still fine. What's your grand tournament, by the way? This one. That is an archery tournament. Still can't go, but it's, it's nice. Um, are you in the other war? No, so you're only in this war against us. Now, that's horrible news. Uh, the reason why that's horrible news is if they were in the other war, then they might, you know, help out in the other war. But because they're only in the war with us, they're only going to attack us. Now, it looks like they're coming by land, which means we actually have quite a lot of time to stall. So we might be fine. We could also potentially buy some mercenaries, although I did just use all my money. Maybe I should have used that after the war. I still think we... Yeah, we still got some time to stall. I mean, look how long it's going to take them to get to us. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. They also might not win a battle against us. We have defeated all of Gelra's army, so they're not that strong. Um. Okay, this is not a good event to see. Uh, so this event... Basically, this guy's drawing a map of our land. But the reason why it's not a good event to see is because it means that somebody's plotting in the court. I think it's a murder plot, which might mean that they're trying to kill us, which is um, not good. Although we do have an heir, so it's not the worst. Planari Assembly, so we can build the Fortified Tribal Hold and enact Limited Crown Authority. So this is what we just got from our innovation. Um, we don't, we're not tribal and we don't care, I think is the way that one goes. Yeah, that's fine. What are we actually focusing on? We're not the head of our culture, so it's not really my choice what we're focusing on. In fact, the person that we're attacking is head of our culture, interestingly. The other thing is, not only do they have to get to us as well here, they have to get to us and win a battle before this ends, right? If they don't win a battle, we're still fine. So even if we're in the middle of a battle, and we're at like a 100% war score in the middle of the battle, we will still... Fine. What are you doing? 
Okay, you're walking round me to Amsterdam? I'm not a huge fan, but like, there's nothing I can do about that? I thought he was going to walk into me. So there's Gellera's army. It's walking away, which means that Friuli is over here. I think. So I think, yeah, they're trying to merge. I think we're going to win. We need 1% war score after this here. So we're about to get it. There is one. So now we just need the next percent. I think it's every 12 days. I'm trying to think, is there a way to, for us to get mercenaries? Any of them willing to be hired? No, because we need to be... Can't go into debt greater than two years of income and my income is really low. Let's see, I think there's a chance. There's a chance. We're actually winning the battle slightly here. I mean, we're not going to win once this army joins. But as long as it's slow, that's all that matters. See? Because now we're at 100% and we enforce our demands. Oh, each of my claimed knights gains glory as well. Oh, cool. We get the title and we get fame. Let's go. Doesn't matter that we're in the middle of a battle because we hit 100% war score. They were too slow by about six days. Cool. We did it. Um, you're a much greater foe than I imagined. That's what we're looking for. We can now disband our troops, although we can't because there's hostile people around. Who are you? Gellera. I'm still hostile to Gellera, I forgot. Because they're in the other war. Uh, but yes, we can almost disband. What's this one? Liberty War. Oh, so that's about to end, so then we can disband our troops. An impression made twice. Ahead of another feast in honor of my liege, Jarl Grima, Count Ebon pays me a visit. Neither of us are in the Jarl's best graces, he points out. But if we were to provide a spectacular show at the feast, we might improve our standing with her. So I can provide gold. Uh, I can find the entertainers, which would cost me prestige, which I am more willing to part with. Or it's better to focus on the small things. Um, I'm willing to find the entertainers. Let's see how that goes. Also, what's this? You can declare war in Denmark. Oh, it's Denmark now. I see. Interesting. Um, wait for this war to end. Should happen any moment now. Fantastic. For all the sweeping legs and spinning arms, Jarl Grima does not seem overly impressed with the dancers Count Ebon and I hired for the feast. The Jarl listens to their dedication for us with a smile, but then quickly turns her attention back to the food. Okay. Well, he became our friend, which is nice. I don't know who he is, but he became our friend. He's the Count of Frisia. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a Count of Frisia, actually. I thought, she, for some reason, I thought she held it. Did she not hold it? Um, inherited via abdication. Oh, it was revoked. Oh, wait. It was revoked by the um, regent, I guess. Maybe? Because she inherited it. Oh, unless, yeah, because she didn't grant it. Yeah, so it must have been revoked by the region. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Something happened there, anyway. Essentially, he got that land. Um, but he's now become our friend. We got some opinion with our liege, which is nice. That seems good. Now, we should be able to disband our troops, because there's no hostile troops immediately next to us. Wonderful. Now, here... I'm going to start increasing control there. And we can see how our lieges war goes against uh, the King of Italy. Currently, it's winning. Which is going to be interesting, because then we'll be underneath her. She'll be a duke holding this land up here. Things have got very weird for us. Very, very, very weird. There's not really anything we can do. I'd love to fight off that army who's going to start raiding, but like... There's nothing we can really do about that either. I can join your grand tournament in Strasbourg. Okay. What is it? It's a horse race. Hmm. Okay. I would love to go. The problem is, I kind of feel like it's not very safe to leave right now. We're kind of in a couple of wars. I think I'm going to chill. Also, I think I might just pardon this person. Yeah, because I really have no intention of ever imprisoning her. So let's just pardon her and get the opinion. Cool. Right. Yeah, we'll let them siege uh, Gellera. That's fine. 
Brock Fields are um, finishing, which will earn us a reasonable amount. What's this? Ransom. I'm willing to release Theobald from my care. Who? Oh, son of my knight. Um, consider my offer. Oh, I see. It was a raids person. Okay, I see. Um, I'll pay you 10 gold for my knight's child, I suppose. That's fine. We'll be nice. It's not a great investment, honestly, but, you know. It does mean that we get uh, children in our court, which is kind of good. Oh, this is King Louis II's tournament. It's a wrestling tournament. Louis II of Aquitaine. That's quite a bit away as well. Yes, and I do want to avoid tournaments that are directly past these armies that are here and then like the uh, armies that are going to be here and here and all sorts. The Disillusion War, though, I'm just thinking that's going to destroy all of... Because this is his only title, right? Oh, no, because he... What, what's the Disillusion War for? It says the Kingdom of um, Italy is destroyed, right? But it does have two is destroyed. It must destroy his top-tier title, like we thought before. Because previously it was five, this is now two. Yeah, so it's going to destroy Frisia. So it'll be Gellera. Um, it'll be... Our Frisia here. Oh, sorry, it'll be our Holland here, right? And then Italy is also going to fracture into that. This is getting crazy. This is absolutely nuts. Okay. Um, I don't know whether that. I, I kind of get the feeling this is all because of the changes that they made to the vassals to be a little bit more aggressive about what they want. And that's causing everything to basically fall apart as um, vassals push for what they want, which is, you know, they want their own land, which is their culture. So they get rid of um, the people who aren't, like the titles of the people who aren't their culture. It, yeah, it kind of feels like there's some of that going on there, like some vying for power. I kind of like it. What's this one we're about to lose? Independence War. So Corsica is about to become independent. So that's this chunk here so that's a lot of what Italy is right now yeah so that's all been taken off but now Italy with its 246 troops is facing um yeah is facing our liege and basically they're relying on Lotharingia to win the war okay is that our liege that's Lotharingia versus some random county okay Where's our, our liege's troops? Where, where are they? Uh, be in here. I'm just looking for somebody who's obviously in their army. Um, you you you're a commander. You're in the army. Oh yeah, so you're here and you're actively going for Lotharingia's army. So they're gonna grab them and kill them. Oh wow. Yeah, so this is not gonna go well. So I think they went in there and killed them. Well, they definitely went there. Yeah. And now they're chasing them down. Yeah, okay. So the dissolution war, I think, is going to work. Norse culture. A commoner of Norse heritage has been accosted in the streets of Holland over some minor offense. By making a statement in their defense, I could perhaps convince my liege, Jarl Grima, the equally Norse, of my good character. But I might risk alienating my Dutch peers. Then say the... Norse are good people, but Dutch are a moral, uh, a superior moral fiber. I'll take this dress hit. That's fine. What's this? Ransom. I'll pay for Anna. I don't really want to, but I'll pay. I'll pay the money. I do want my liege to like me, though. If they don't have a liege above them, I would very much like it if they liked me. So I'm going to keep swaying them. That's fine. I'm just thinking about other things we need to be doing right now. I would love to hold an activity of our own just to lower our stress. A hunt seems like that would probably be useful at some point to hold or good to hold. Um, only problem is we need to get 45 gold. Um, but we should get that soon. Yeah, maybe that'll be a good time to try it. Because I want to lower our stress down one stress level. Although, you know, drinking appears to work right now. Our liege won their war. Oh yeah, there you go. So, Italy no longer exists. Um, yeah. This is... 
pretty crazy. So now this is falling apart. Bavaria owns odd chunks. East Francia owns chunks. Lotharangia, France. We're now underneath the Duchy of Holland, which is its own thing. This is crazy. You're allied to Savoy and this count. Ah, that's why they were fighting that county, I understand. Yeah, things have gotten um, busy. I kind of want to try attacking one of our um, vassals, or one of our lieges' vassals over here, try and reduce their strength slightly, as in our lieges' strength. Hmm. wonder whether we can maybe get, make that work for us as well. Like, potentially, can I get a claim? No, why not? Um, because you like him sl Oh, because I think you like him slightly more than you did. Okay, what about uh, Ipron over here? We get a claim on that. Also, no, but if you liked me, I could get a claim. Yeah, but you don't like me. Okay. There's things to think about. We're being raided. Well, I mean, honestly, what am I going to do about it? <laughs> Another thing that we can do, however, is we can just sit and wait for this to uh, increase and then we earn more money. That would probably work. I lowered our control when they came and uh, raided us there. Did it do the same on this one? It did lower our control here. That's really not on, is it? I mean, it is going up, but it's really not on. I'm not going to raise our control. I'm happy to raise it on the one that's uh, very, very far down, but still. Yeah, just annoying. Stewardship perk. Oh, I was going to switch, but I guess I'll stick here for one more. Um... Maybe meritoc- no, meritocracy is pretty good. And then we wanted to switch into either martial or diplomacy. I kind of feel like if we want to take the land off our liege, martial is going to be the better path here. I don't know. Maybe. Let's go martial. I did see that our uh, half-sister needs married, by the way. I, I, I saw it, thought about it, and I've done nothing with it. I might go this. I might go this one. Get ourselves the control growth right now. We can always switch later. That's fine. Right. Half-sister needs married. Is there anyone I can get an alliance with? This would be beneficial. Genoa's our best alliance. Yeah, so that's not a great alliance. You would get an alliance here for 500. That's better because they're closer, but it's still not good. Anyone matrilineally getting us an alliance? This mayor... Yeah, it's not really enough troops. I want it to be matrilineal so that we have potential heirs here because we still only have one heir. Let's go... Yeah, it's already on inheritable traits. Why don't I go prowess? Who can we drag into our court? We can drag in this guy with 26 prowess, which is pretty good. He's 30, he's shrewd, he's quick. This seems like a good character to drag in. We could also drag in someone like this who's got Herculean as a trait get that in our court it's also rakish that doesn't really give us anything but you know it's worth noting um you're robust yeah maybe those are better traits herculean's probably a better trait to bring in how about this guy yeah why don't you two marry lowers her prestige which doesn't matter too much yeah i think this will be fine let's do that let's drag a very very powerful knight into our court so that now means that we have our brother-in-law with 23 um, prowess in here. Fantastic. You have a successor. That's fine. Although your successor does appear to be like roughly the same age as you, which seems bad. Uh, it's rank 2 that we get things here, right? Uh, yeah, rank 2 is where we start to get ma major things. Do I have another accolade I can get right now? No. Okay. Is there a better successor? I don't think so. No, I think we're fine right now. Okay. Right. Um, Liege is still getting their opinion improved. We're still earning money. We're still increasing our um, control. I think we can go speed 5. Let's let this roll. I don't know why we're not earning as much as we were before. That's the other thing I'm looking at here. Um, it seems that... Oh, it seems like... Yeah, it seems like we're just not earning as much from our domain. It's probably because we were... Um, yeah, it's probably because we were raided, and that's now reduced the amount that we're er that we've got. Yeah, holding taxes. Unfortunately, yeah, for three years we're just kind of earning less. 
problem with being on the coast. I'm also just checking. Yeah, you still know. I just wanted to check because of this one. Um, but we can get Upper Lorraine, apparently. Which is somewhere. Here. We can get a claim on Lotharengia. Uh, it's not terrible. You are, however, allied to this person. Who has 94 troops. Okay. And you're allied to Burgundy, who has 2.4k. Yeah, it's the bigger problem, really, isn't it? Our wife is pregnant. Wonderful news. A rusty tool. Peering through the dusty murk of the armory, my gaze travels over multiple different weapons of war. A pair of battered greaves, a recently sharpened sword, a spear with a worn haft, a rusty farming tool. I pick up the farming implement, perhaps it has been lumped in unknowingly with the weapons. I heft the tool, examining its curiously curved sickle-like blade as I give it an experimental swing at a nearby hauberk. The blade pierces the mail, scattering a few iron rings across the floor. Interesting. So we can turn it into a weapon or don't do that. Let's turn it into a weapon. Why not? Taking the small blade out into the midday sun, I inspect it more closely. The blade tapers to a point at one end and disappears into the tang at the other, leaving a length of slightly rusty but still sharp iron in between. The kink at the blade's head gives the implement a wicked curve to it, useful for cutting through shrubs you'd think, or maybe finding gaps in armour. It's clear this could be repurposed as a weapon of war, but the question remains exactly what guy said weapon would take. So we can straighten out to make a stabbing weapon. Mount it on the end of a spear, we can get a rudimentary halberd, or why don't we leave it as is? We could hone the blade. Let's hone the blade. I know. Ooh, our son is curious. Okay. I think that's fine. I might be wrong, but I think that's fine. Perfect the way it is. The implement which the Holdings blacksmith Antun explains to me is known as Billhook, as I enthusiastically supervise him sharpening it, certainly looks the part as a weapon of war. The blade emerges from the tang with a vicious edge to it, running up and through the weighty hooked head. The newly sharpened point glints in the midday sun as I work it into the seam of some defunct boiled leather armour before ripping it back towards me, severing the holding loops in a single swing. What other secrets do our humble farmers hold? So that gives us the billhook artifact and then martial lifestyle experience, or I will distribute them throughout the realm. I think I'm going to uh, get the artifact because we don't have one. And now we have something that gives us, it lowers our prestige per month, but it gives us prowess, which is really nice. It's, it's something. We're getting there. We have one prowess. <laughs> All right. We're, we're working on up. We're, we're getting there. Okay, cool. And we got some lifestyle experience, which is definitely good. Wanton desires. Lately, it feels like I'm constantly being distracted by levacious thoughts and erotic fantasy. I'm going to let us gain stress because we're going to try and hold a hunt when we get enough money. Hey, our Jarl liked us some more. Maybe we'll try and make the Jarl like us. Maybe we'll invite them to our hunt. I don't know. We're right next to each other. They might say yes. Send proposal. It pleased me greatly if you could personally see to little um, Acra's education till she comes of age. So this is your daughter. Uh, wow, that's a lot of claims. Look at all those claims this person has. Anyway, you would like us to educate your daughter. I don't see why I wouldn't do this. Okay, that seems fine. I will educate your daughter. We can ask our head of faith for gold. Thank you very much, Head of Faith. I will use this wisely and we will only go on a very pious hunt. Let's do it. Um, well, okay, let's see here. So higher peril grants more prestige. Both sexes may participate. Martial sexes may act actively participate. Hmm. Well, why don't we go for falconry if we're trying to get our liege to join? I think there's a way of getting your liege to join. I'm not entirely sure how you do this because it's the first time. And falconry, I believe, is the DLC part of this. So let's try it. I would like to go... So high development is bad, right? According to this. No holding is good. How about... Amaris Fort? That's apparently good. It's a 34% chance of danger. It's a really short trip, though. Manage guests. Uh, 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 uh. 
Interestingly, you can invite other players if you're playing in a um, multiplayer game. I would love to invite you. Yeah. So, who don't... Yeah, I want to invite Liege. I don't really care about my vassals. Fellow vassals is fine. Courtiers is fine. Gloryhound vassals doesn't matter. What's court hunters? Uh, our guests? Oh, all right. People who are hunters within our court. I was trying to think of people who are hunting courts and thinking, what does that mean? No, I understand it now. So, we're inviting our friends. People who go on hunts. That doesn't matter because that's nothing. Our liege. Fellow vassals. She would say no. Why? Norse martial custom for women. Oh, okay. Well, fine. Fellow vassals and courtiers. I guess we could host a feast instead. We could host a feast instead. If, our, if the goal is to make our liege like us, let's at least um, discard this. Discard this. We're hosting a feast. Then we might as well host something that our liege would come to. Not a murder feast. I don't want a murder feast. We'll just go for a feast. Thank you. Okay. Uh, provinces with suited buildings will give out a gold discount. Farms and fields there and farms and fields there give us it. So let's go to here because we got farms and fields. I think. Wait. Yeah, we have farms and fields here. I didn't realize this was built up. Oh, that's useful to know. Okay. Well. Let's go here. Farms and fields. I don't necessarily need a forder. It's a 1% chance of danger. I think we're okay there. Uh, honorary guest, our liege. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to join. It says they will. Okay, that's fine. She's lustness. Uh... Yeah, she's she's willing to join. Um, who am I gonna invite? Court guests is fine, fellow vassals. Um Spouses, vass our vassals shouldn't matter. Don't really need our close family there. I actually don't think we need fellow vassals there either. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think this'll be okay. Let's do this. So let's uh Close that. We can have exotic delicacies, which gets us moderate prestige gain. Or we can have... Alright, oh, oh, this is this. Okay. No, I want to go for... Did it tell me how much it costs overall? Yeah, let's go for an exorbitant number of courses to gain great opinion. I don't really care about the prestige uh, gain, so we can actually go for... Simple trenchers in terms of dick, uh, dish complexity. It's going for lots of dishes, but not very complex dishes. Okay. My goal is to befriend our liege. Yes. Okay. I think we should be fine on the trip because, I mean, it's literally our holding and it's the one next to our capital. I think this will be fine. I would like to start a feast. Oh, and we're on our way. Okay. That's fine. Let's go to speed three and let's have a feast. Fresh start. Uh, okay, this is fine. Let's go. The servants run across the hall, bring the final decoration. Some of the guests are yet to arrive. I indulge myself of a del delicious drink by the fire. Oh, I seem to have spotted some roast swan already. I can't find Jarl Grimma anywhere yet. I wait for her to arrive so my plan to befriend her can finally start. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Oh, there we go. She's traveling here. She'll arrive on the 9th. It's a Christmas feast, basically, is what we're having. The guests are gathered in the Great Hall, lords and ladies from near and far reaches of the realm. I adjust my clothes. This is not exactly my idea of a perfect evening, but it'll have to do. The mood is bright, spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Okay. We have another son called Arnold. Oh, wonderful. Good to know. What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Jarl Grima. We spoke all evening about all manner of subjects, and as things would have it, we seemed to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with her. It's a good evening. 
Wonderful. Ooh. Boswagen Darcy brawls with his rival Jan uh, Kersena. Okay. Or, or uh, Kirk Senna. Yeah. Did everything I could during the demaze and Will Sles Wagon were it would be as far from each other as possible. It was not enough. Now they have come to blows in the middle of my feast. One of the guards is close to the brawl and looks to me for the order to intervene. So we can throw him out to cool or we can restrain this guy until things calm down. This is your Grima's antiquarian or my knight. I will um Yeah, I'll Yeah, let's get rid of their antiquarian. That's fine. My knight can like me. That's good. See how things go. Um Bergwian tells a fantastic joke about candles. About feathers, it says here. Okay. The great table seating the upper nobility on the dais gave a loud crack, and a moment later it gave way under the weight of uh, it gave way gave in under the weight of food and gilded decoration. As most distinguished guests and I had to be fitted among, in among the lower nobility, I ended up close to my liege Jarl Grima. As high nobles mingled with their lessers, words of both friendship and enmity were exchanged among people who rarely associate. Grima and I ended up talking all evening and agreed it should not be the last time we feasted and laughed in each other's company. She became our friend. Nice. We may still take her land, but being friends with our liege is much better. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my courtier Radigund goes on and on about lawmaking. That was how they, we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not bo boring you, my lord? Uh, so we can have an interesting conversation, or why don't we talk about you? Good chance to lose some stress, actually, here. And we are on recreation now, which is good. As my guests leave, they seem to be in good spirits. I'm also relieved to see that Lishbrek uh, does not depart without saying farewell. We both know we'll be seeing each other again soon. What a man! What a man. The feast is starting to draw to a close, and my visitors are surely expecting me to lavish a little attention on Jarl Grima, our esteemed guest of honour. Traditionally, the co a complimentary toast and a deep drink of wine does the trick. Then, then, Grima, all Grima did was turn up. This feast was my idea. I paid for everything, and I hosted everything. Hmm. So we can say, and now it's a host, he becomes highly esteemed, and we gain stress. Let us address the sycophant of the hour, which loses us uh, opinion, or you're all very welcome for my hospitality. We also lose opinion. She is our friend. I think we, we can take this. You're welcome for my hospitality. It's fine. Lutzwind lambasts the quality of the fresh quail. A few candles survive of the last of the guests have left. I can hear a pair of servants letting out sighs of relief after the door is closed. The food is still warm on the ceramic plates. Soon word will reach every corner of the realm, and every noble worth their salt will know that my magnificence is unparalleled. With all my guests having done uh, fighting for the last of my meager table scraps, it gives me great relief to watch them finally leave with loose clothing and growling bellies. Nevertheless, I'm still grateful for uh, that the endeavor is over for now. So we do not lose stress because we're shy, but we did lose stress due to the events. In development growth in this county and popular opinion, we got progress towards Eager Reveler, and every non-courtly vassal attending got us got opinion with us. Nice. The feast has concluded. I will finish the feast. Wonderful. So we are now friends of our liege, so she's not going to act against us, which is fantastic. We, um... Yeah, I've increased development in this holding, which is kind of cool. I like that we've done that. And also what was interesting is I recognize some of those events, right? Some of the events are default feast events. But it does feel a little bit different when they're presented in that manner. And they're presented because you're trying to get something out of the feast. You're like, I want to lose stress. Therefore, it's going to give me the stress losing event. And then I can take it. As opposed to a thing just happened at the feast, right? I kind of like that. It's a little bit more like we're making a choice. Whether it is or it isn't. Actually us making a choice. But that's fine. Right. And now. Uh, we are back home. And we could do a grand tournament. But I would have to pay for it. And we do not have the money. So it's fine. Uh, how is control looking here? It's going up. Okay. That's fine. This is going to be a good holding. Also is this Dutch? 
Yes, fantastic. Dutch Catholic, exactly what we would want. So that's going up, we're earning more money. Overall, things have gone pretty well for us. Any chance I can grab a little claim? No, very much no. That's gone down in chance. That's also gone down in chance. Oh well. You know, it's worth a try. Our half-sister can marry. Well, you know what? I think that that is something that we can look at next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.